Hi, in this video we are going to discuss what is a derivative, and a derivative is defined as the slope of a line tangent to a curve for each x value of the function. And normally you'll see that as this equation given here, and the derivative of a function is normally defined as f prime of x, as shown here, and the definition of that is the limit as uh, x, delta x goes to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x. And where that comes from might seem a little confusing at first, but it's actually quite simple. And the key is to keep in mind that we're looking for the slope of a line tangent to the curve. So for some given curve like this, we'll have an x-axis and an f of x-axis. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a point along this curve, like here, and we'll call that x, and so the corresponding y value of that point will be f of x, because it's some arbitrary function called f. And then if we pick a second point along the curve here, it will be considered x plus delta x. So we just add an, an arbitrary value to it, and the corresponding y value will just be f of x plus delta x, okay? And now if we want to actually take a slope uh, between these two points, it would be considered a secant because it runs through exactly two points along the curve. So let me go ahead and draw that line here. And now we will look for the slope of that line. So m which normally is used for slope, and if you remember from algebra, it is rise over run or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So in this case, uh, our m will be equal to what? Well, first of all, our y2 and x2 are the uh, green value here, which is farther along the x curve, so we get f of x plus delta x over, and so there's gonna be a minus here and a minus here for our y2 and we'll have f of, sorry, not f, whoops. We will have, what, x plus delta x here, right? Because that's our y2 and our x2. And then for our y1 and x1, we're gonna use x and f of x here. So that's f of x and x, okay? And so you'll also notice basically what we do is we take the distance between these points minus the distance between these points, or divided by the distance between these points. And that gives us our secant slope. So, but what calculus asks you to do is it's always looking for a tangent curve, tangent to the curve. So that's only at one point. So in order to get just one point, what we need to do is we should shrink the x plus delta x and closer to x. So we really want this delta x to go to zero and effectively we'll move this green point along the curve all the way back to the uh, red point. So in order to do that mathematically, what we do is we say the slope equals the limit as delta x goes to zero. So we're shrinking the green point to the red point of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over x plus delta x minus x, which is from the secant equation. And then if you, you can see down here, we have an x and we have a minus x, so these actually can disappear. And hence, now we're actually left with the same equation that we had back here. Uh, that is the definition of the derivative. So the key is that as we as the limit is taken from delta x going to zero, we take a secant line, which we had shown right here, and this has now become a tangent line. So please look at the next video for uh, examples of how this actually gets used.